day everybody and welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So as you can see I have my windscreen on. Um, I've been considering getting the Batwing fairing for this. Um, I didn't really get on uh, with the, this windscreen when I had it on before. Uh, reason was, see these two black dots at the top? Whoever had this bike before me had fitted like an extra sort of like windy flexor thing on it. Um, but they fitted it upside down like idiots. So I try and swap it the right way around and the holes don't actually match um, how it should be. Uh, for the right way around. So I took it off. Um, I was getting some seriously major, major buffeting uh, before. Uh, with on. So anyway, I've taken it off and I was left with four holes. So I've had to put these two little things on there and they were part of the uh, mounted bracket from before. So I thought I'd mount the windscreen without that on and see how it does. Um, so I'm just going to nip off to the A38. Um, I want to see how it performs um, at national speed limits. Uh, see if the buffeting's any better. Because I'm not going to go and spend 350, 400 quid on another screen if I've not tried it and if I'm still getting the same sort of effects with this one. So I thought I'd kind of give it one last shot to see uh, to see how it does. It might just be that this screen is slightly too short or slightly too tall for, for my size. I honestly haven't got a clue. I can feel a bit of buffeting already and I'm only doing 45. I'll try tucking down behind it, see if that makes uh, much difference when I'm on the A38. But I'm just literally going to nip towards Burton, turn around and come back and if it's still, if I'm still not quite as happy with it as I want to be, then I'll uh, then I'll take it off and then it's a uh, goodbye windscreen. So I need to get my clutch sorted, I've just had to pull over uh, to adjust it. Um, no matter how much I actually adjust the clutch here, um, even to the point where I should have the correct amount of free play, it still seems to, to slip a little bit um, when I'm going at higher revs. So I think that needs adjusting actually um, in the clutch housing rather than, than up here. I may have to adjust it a little bit more. I'll try it on the A38, see how it is. Anyway, so far the windscreen, uh, 50 mile an hour, there's not really any buffeting up this side. It felt a little bit further back, but not really any up this way. Maybe if I sit a bit further back, I honestly don't know, I'm not as comfortable there though. Tell you what, now I'm doing uh, uh, just over 50 mile an hour. I'm going to slow down because I'm in a form to. Um, I can still feel a bit of buffeting on my on my helmet. It's not it's not the sort of buffeting you can kind of ignore. It's overly strong buffeting, like someone's knocking on your helmet. So until I had this screen on it, I've never really experienced buffeting before on any bike. too good then I mean my head was vibrating like an absolute mother so I'm not sure if it's just the fact that it's too low or if it's too high for, for how I'm sitting I honestly haven't got a clue I mean I don't really know enough about windscreens all I know is it uh, may look like I might be flogging it um, but we'll see on the way back when I actually thrash it on the way back I'll try and duck behind it although when I bent down earlier it didn't really seem to make any difference at all which is a shame as well because it's the genuine Yamaha screen and I mean these things are quite bloody pricey so I mean I've got uh, I've recently just ordered the uh, Yamaha driver's backrest so I think I'd be sitting more like here sort of thing when 
when that comes, so I'm going to try and kind of sit somewhat, somewhat upright on the way back and I'll push it just past 70 to see if it makes any difference I'm going to be gutted if it's not I mean as far as wind noise goes on my face, pretty much everything's gone um, same on my chest as well, I mean it feels it's more relaxed on my arm, my arms aren't as tired already as from <laughs> like sort of trying to hold on because of the wind Just this, uh, adjust this clutch. Oh, I feel like that clutch feels just a little bit better now. I still think it's got a few issues though. So this motor vlog ended up being a complete and bloody fail. I mean, the idea was to get out, get on the A38, just do a quick motor vlog, see how this screen performed. Again, now I've taken the stupid deflector thing off. See if it was any better. Uh, I ended up faffing around with my clutch, and it keeps slipping at the uh, higher revs. Um, so, for example, when I'm doing 60 or 70, and I throttle it a little bit when the revs go up seems to slip a little bit so I don't know if there's still an issue with, issue with the clutch plates or, or what but I'm going to have to go to the garage and see so it got bloody dark quick, I know that 10 past 4 so one thing I've noticed with the screen on is that I'm bloody warm it seems to direct all the bloody heat from the, uh, from the bike and the engine straight at me Right, so, as the video stands, still not too keen on the screen and the amount of buffeting that it actually gives. I mean, I don't know if it's too high or too short or what. And an update on the clutch. Um, I don't know, I think I need to get it looked at. I mean, it's still slipping in higher revs and I, don't, I know nothing about clutches. Um, I've, I've been adjusting it on the, actually on the clutch lever. But, I mean, it makes a difference for different speeds, but not actually where it keeps slipping. Seeing as this was an absolute complete fail of a motor blog, then I think I may just uh, leave it here. Okay, his indicator's gone off. Yeah, I think I may just leave it here. Don't forget, if you did like the video, to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see any more of the videos, click on channel and click videos and they're all there. Alright, take care all, have a good day and ride safe.